Let's begin. Rock roll. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. What's what is, going on? What's good. What is good with y'all today? It's your boy. Top that. Oh, my guys are here with me. <laughs> I don't got to tell y'all names. Y'all know their names enough. So, that's you with the crew. We talking about Tick Tock being banned <laughs> today. Now, the reason I want to talk about TikTok being banned today is because, in the essence, um, TikTok was being um, basically cracked as a as a spy app. People were thinking that it wasn't just for pictures, music, and fun. Everybody was thinking that, hey. As of today, in um, a few of the American facilities that we have legally here are searching and doing more research on the TikTok uh, app and the creators behind it. And right now, it's not looking too good for TikTok because, as you know, you have the China and and everything like that. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I uninstalled it today myself. Yeah, so I had to, you know, with like with all with all that's going on, we. You gotta uh, be mindful of how sometimes people who ain't got good intentions slip in and wanna do stuff that they ain't supposed to be doing. So today we're gonna talk about our feelings on TikTok and how we feel about TikTok being eliminated. So how y'all feel about TikTok basically in the essence being eliminated or being subject to elimination? Dave, you're stoned, do you wanna go first? Uh, I don't know why the fuck he just said I'm stoned, but, <laughs> you know, ah. just like a fucking asshole. Oh, Anyways. Y'all uh, know what it is. We advocate. It's funny. Uh, Damn it. It's funny. Uh, mm. So, TikTok. I was never a fan of fucking TikTok. Me neither. I was uh, never a fan. And I'm glad they took it down. That's all I got to say. It's like Eric probably going to like it. Oh, he said he's never been a fan of tuck, a, a fan of TikTok. I'm like, man, you fucking all these crazy bitches. You fucking the same TikTok? TikTok! That's some good. Yes. Yeah, you know one thing um, I didn't really... Did. You know one thing I didn't like about hip-hop, man? man. I, yeah, we ain't monetized yet. But, you know, <laughs> you know one thing I didn't... I didn't... Uh, well, I did uh, like about TikTok is that it gave some people who didn't have uh, too much of a voice it gave him confidence to get on there. Like, you know, you had people with low self-esteem, people with uh, physical dismemberment. They went on TikTok and did a couple videos. And next thing you know, they have millions and millions of followers. And basically, even though that type of celebrity shouldn't boost your profile and it shouldn't boost your self-esteem, but if you can use anything to boost up yourself, then I guess, you know, boost up yourself. But, um... I appreciate the TikTok for basically helping people who didn't have a voice go up a little further and and have something to say. But besides that, no, I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why I don't like. It. Yes, I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why I don't like. It. One is is that the the undercover and the undercoverness. I'm gonna call it undercoverness. I ain't. I'm not gonna dive too in depth about what I mean, but y'all know what I mean. If y'all go on TikTok, it's different trends that be going on TikTok that not right. Like it uh, doesn't appeal to us at yeah, all. Not not at all. It's it's dumb trends. You got um, what they had the the knee on the neck trend. They had uh whatever inconvenience hits befalls America. Some of these folks will go right on TikTok and make a challenge out of it. Well said. Everything is not, everything ain't no challenge, man. Everything, every situation that has to do with something about empowering and basically getting, building people up. It's not like a TikTok, it's not a TikTok moment. You don't have to throw it on TikTok or you don't have to put it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 
most of these things, but a lot of people do so. They just figure like, hey, if my life is not on camera or recorded, people are not going to pay attention to me and people are not going to trust what I'm doing and what I'm saying. So TikTok, you, don't, you, you don't feel relevant because of all this. I mean, we're right. inundated with social media now. So you right. either get in or, or be left behind or something like that. Yeah, and people feel they they going to be last in the race if they're not the first face. If you're not the first face to be seen, people figure that they're going to be last in the race. If you're not, um, just, just everybody is aiming for the number one spot. Number two, number three, those are spots that's reserved for the losers, how most people put it. You know, like, not too many people people want to come in second or third me i don't mind if i come if i place in the top three or top five of anything i'm satisfied you've done well yeah, yeah. you can always strive to do better exactly and that means you got four yeah. people or three people or two people or one person better than you so you can up your your game right. and do the same thing the third fourth fifth whatever you know you're not a failure all of that yeah and people people figure themselves to be failures as soon as they're not socially accepted and that's another reason why I didn't like TikTok. TikTok made it to where people had to put on a facade to try to entertain other people. And you don't have to entertain other people. If you acknowledge other people, you feel what they're going through in life, you give them all the props that they need to be given, and they roll on about that, that's good. But, but they also show a big fat lady face planting from a rope swing, didn't make it to the creek. Oh! <laughs> See? You know what I mean? It's stuff like that. Like, yeah, people don't. You know, some of them only. lives for that. She got yeah. hurt, though. Exactly. That, lady, that lady got hurt, but it was funny. Go ahead. It, it was funny, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was funny. Like, Whatever. sometimes. Um, At her expense, right? Yeah. And some of those things, like, if it's pleasant and innocent fun, like a little kid running. And they throw a ball and they hit themselves with the ball. Right. It's innocent fun. Yeah. But if you got people, you have people who actually go out here and they set up dangerous TikTok moments and just to catch yeah. a viral, a viral I, episode or a viral video. This is like, so you almost feel pressured to do you so. Remember when the drug All the time, people you are really when probably the drug hurt. The Kiki challenge and shit. Yeah, the, the Kiki challenge. They were doing the Kiki Challenge. It was the challenge where um, the song, a Drake song, would play in the background, and people would hop off the cars and do the little dance. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. the reason doing that, that ghost riding, and yeah, stuff. yeah, yep, ghost riding yeah. the whip while you dancing. Right. And right. what happened was uh, one person did it and actually got hurt, like definitely hurt by it. So oh, yeah. it, it be it was instantly um, took off. Like, no, it's no more, it's no longer a trend. We have a crew of motorcyclists in town here and sometimes, occasionally they go by the, the street, there's about a good 30 of them, but there, there's a lot of them, you know, they're standing on their seats and things like that. And yeah. Doing wheelies, standing on the seats of these crotch rockets, you know what I mean? I mean, they do good, they know what they're doing or like whatever, whatever, so, but... Yeah. I know it's that's the culture. Right? Yeah, it, it's training here yeah, because they yeah. want they want people to see because yeah, the, the shock value always. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Just like um, like you got some of these YouTubers coming out now with all of these videos. Oh, sure. Um, and most of Trying them to pop each other, right? Yeah. yeah. That end, they coming out with these so-called edgy videos. It's not edgy. It's basically teetering on on the verge of be, just being racially insensitive and being personally insensitive to some people. So. What it is, is you got a culture of people who are telling the younger generation, it's cool to be edgy. And then they say, okay, well, what is edgy? And then they like, well, this is edgy. And it's not really edgy. It's going over the, it's going over the line. So what they do is they're, they're stepping over the line. And TikTok helped that out because they right. have, they, like what we were saying earlier, they have no regulation. So yeah. whatever yeah. whatever is game, because they're based there. They're, they're, because it's a Chinese company. I guess we already established that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Chinese based so company. So there's no regulation. It's not like we yeah, have they, here. And they're not regulating. Like they they don't, don't care. You see how on Facebook, you see how Facebook is is regulated. And if you play somebody's music on your live stream, or you play somebody's music in a video that you do, and you don't have permission to do it, Facebook will take the music theirself out of the video. So mm -hmm. they don't they don't face repercussions. Right. And TikTok didn't do that. 
song um, to the fullness of the song, do a little dance or but see, that's uh, whatever else. else. Right. Yeah, well, that's crazy. You know what? Oh, well, they probably had problems there too. Yeah, because it, it was a lot of artists that's not getting paid for people playing their, their music. They, you know? And these artists work hard for their little two, three minutes yeah. of fucking music. Yeah, you, you got to give it to the artists, plus the producers, plus the engineers, yep. plus the people that put the, the damn people that put it together. Yeah. And, and, and then it's, it's a constant thing. And then we're talking about uh, one freaking TikTok fuck shit yeah. parade that really doesn't give a fuck about that. Yeah. Because it's, I, uh, like we said earlier, we don't want to get into that. Uh, political situation, but we all know what's real. So it's like, come on now. I mean, yeah, have, doing have, a lot. have a little bit of sympathy, but they, they didn't care about that. So yeah, you know, it they was eighty six. You, you know, know, fuck that. You know, mm-hmm. you know what's interesting to go on like something that we were talking about earlier. You know, we always yeah. talk about nostalgia and back in the day and stuff yeah. like that. Okay, nostalgic music. You know, the the conversation's going to such a place and things like that. And man, everybody's trying to top everybody. All these stunts and ghost riding and all this mess. Mm-hmm. What's well, interesting, folks? Back in the day, you know who it was? There was only one cat. Evil Knievel. Evil Knievel. Right. Yeah, the most. There, 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 was, there was no, there no. was no Facebook. There was no nope. YouTube, and people doing all kind of crazy nope. shit like fat ladies that can't hang on a freaking rope swing until they meet the lake. Yeah, they had chat lines. They hit the rocks. They hit the rocks on the yeah, side of the bank. Lines, Messed themselves up. He was right though. We had we had evil can evil. One guy. One guy. And and let me tell you, maybe once a year he might jump and do something crazy, but the entire United States of America, because that's all we had was network television. Essentially like three, four, five channels. That was it. Yep. And you know, with some crazy antenna on top of our roof, right? Yep. Yep. And guess what? Evil can evil, man, he was jumping Harley Davidson over remember remember he wrecked that bad, crazy wreck. Yeah, Stuff like that yeah. broke. Like this guy. Yeah, he there's only two hundred and there's two hundred and six bones in the human body. He He's broke. broken most of them. Broke like two hundred and seven. Yeah, he, yeah, <laughs> he right. Figured out, he figured out new bones that he had. Yeah, and broke exactly. But he was um. And, he and was I hear he did I hear he didn't wear a cup. No, not at all. That was his dumb man. That's but pretty stupid. That's the, that's pretty dumb because he wasn't having no more kids. I, mean, I know he had a junior, but <laughs> yeah, after that most of them, remember he jumped the drag, the Grand Canyon. Yeah, he, he jumped he over a shark too at Caesar's Palace. Yep. Yeah. He did uh, the Grand think, Canyon, but he tried to do that in some crazy rocket. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. he uh, remember he, the last stunt I remember he was doing was when he jumped over like twenty five school buses. It was called Snake River Canyon, but yeah, the twenty five school buses. Yeah, the twenty five school bus thing. That was the last one I remember. And then after that he. He, I didn't hear no more about him because that shit was dangerous. Well, he, he did he did one from an inside stadium, like a, yeah, a, like the Houston Astrodome or like something like he that. He did one I, from a, the, the Monster Truck Arena. But that's when he jumped like that, and you know, it's like the opening. It goes under the stands. That's where mm-hmm. he wrecked really bad, and he went all the way up under there and slammed against the wall. Mm-hmm. Wow! And they showed that shit in slow motion. Google that, folks. Yes, Evil can evil. Wrecking, yeah. Let me you tell you something. Wrecked, you are, and, and, and also note you, that you ain't. How, how long has it been since you even heard that name? He was a part of well, at least 15 20 years. 15 20 years. So, I'll tell you what, have a little bit of fun looking that up. So, yeah. he's a part of good call there. Yeah, evil, evil, but evil, evil was spelled E V E L, folks, not E V I L, it was E V E L, and can even basically. It was spelled with just a K in front of the, the, the evil. The M. Yeah, the K and the N in front of the Knievel. the, the Knievel. Knievel. Yeah, it was basically evil Knievel, and he was like, ah. and um, but what a name too! What a promotional name for what he that was. was. When, when, you, when you had that on, a, when you had evil Knievel on a on a flyer, it popped because everybody mm-hmm. knew you was gonna see something high flying. And Daredevil. Oh my God! And they was and everybody and, was and, prepared and, for it. And they hyped it up on like network television oh, for like boy, he, like oh, two wait. three hours boy, in anticipation. TBS until, TBS. Un, until the Nielsen said, "Oh my God, we got every man, woman, and child watching in us yeah. around the world. Let's Bro, go!" They, they, cause they, <laughs> they would always they were always saying yeah. like it'd be a commercial, and they'd be like, "Don't forget, right. Evil Knievel is about oh, to jump over yeah. this in the next twenty minutes. Stay tuned in." Wait. 
Yeah. They would do ten more damn commercial yeah. breaks and uh, before and you know, you know it. You can see Evil Knievel on the on the little um the, the wherever he had his on right. his, his stage with his helmet. And before you know it, you just already had to done make like two, three, yeah. four beer and popcorn runs. Yeah, right? anything you know, you <laughs> still watching and revving up for about twenty minutes, doing wheelies like next to the freaking yep. rope. And then Pretty he just much. then he just go up on there and it's boop. But see, TikTok made it. If TikTok, I guess if TikTok would have been back out in our era, saying me and you eat, oh my God. if they'd have been out back in our era in like the, the 80s and the late 70s, same shit would have happened, I think. But, it'd have been, but I think it had been, it would have been more control because we had a little bit more common sense about ourselves back then. Morals, morals. I wouldn't. Hey, but, I, I wouldn't. But when, but when you give, eat. but when you give somebody an inch, they take a mile. Yeah, you know what I mean. mean but and he, trust yeah. me, when I grew up in the '70s, going to elementary and high, uh, middle school and stuff like that, yeah, believe me, bro, there was no shortage of daredevils, and we did our stuff, but it just oh, wasn't. The interesting thing was, you know, there was no way to put it out to the world like we do now. Exactly. So oh, it yeah. stayed in your neighborhood, yeah, and all you got is stories. It wasn't mad shared. Yeah, all you got to do. Uh, the only way you get it out is to tell stories to your friends and family, and you know whomever about it, right? And you can exacerbate yeah. some of your. Oh, stories. you can <laughs> embellish. You oh, can, and. Embellish you can is, embellish hard. Boy, embellish. I learned embellish because I, <laughs> I knew uh, my grandpa was. He used to tell me about like uh, a lot of his friends and most of his friends like were honest people, but they would. You would always have one friend yeah. that made sure that they embellished everything that they did so it can sound equal, on par, right. or better than whoever else. Right. And that's how. That's kind of how the third reason why I don't like TikTok either is because. Hmm. It's a whole bunch of look at me, I'm better than that person. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the most popular person on TikTok is like a 15 or 16 year old girl. And this and is what people are basing their lives on. Too, yeah. Their entire lives. They base everything on, on these TikTok. They, they, don't, they can't even concentrate in school, probably. Not at you all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Remember they, how we, we couldn't, we, we, we didn't have things to bring to school. The first thing that came out, folks, was the damn beeper. Remember exactly. the beeper? Yeah, yeah. My cousin stole my damn beeper. Right? Because and, I and never you, owned one of those. And if, and if you put in I your did, number, if that. you put in your number to call back and you put a nine one one after it, you better call back. Yeah, you better hurry call back. <laughs> if your mom, Trouble especially your mom. Into. Yeah. Well your mom or your dad or right. grandma hit that beeper and they put in nine that number one one. and nine one one after that number, baby yep. that mean hurry up and get home or you yep. gotta get your behind yeah, tore up or it. it meant something going down at the house and you need to be here right now. And like, we shied away from a lot of that because we have social apps like TikTok and mm-hmm. social media trend is now you have to be in tune with social media or you're out of the loop, period. So I think them coming together and saying they might ban TikTok, it can be 75, it's going to be 75% good because most of us get tired of the damn TikTok people, but it's going to be 25% bad for the people that actually started making a decent come up off of TikTok. So I, yeah, I feel true. bad for all the, the there good are people, people making revenue, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel bad yeah, for yeah, all yeah, the yeah. good people that are yeah. out here making an honest living off TikTok. Like they bring TikTok videos. Like it was a young, a young man. Shout out to the young man who used his TikTok to be a math tutor to people. Uh, math tutor to his peers at around his school. Yeah. So people who didn't know how to do math, they hit him up on the Zoom like, yo, I don't know how to Get do this. Get help with it? Yeah. Well, that's, what, that's, that's, a, that's, that's an example of an incredibly great way yeah. to use it, right? It's, positive, but, it's super positive, but right? then you have you have but that's like, not what we see every no. 59 minutes of every no. 60 minutes, we right? Don't. We, we, see, on we, see, we, we see maybe, see maybe one good shit. minute of something. And it used to be a freaking nice. kid-friendly fucking... Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was a kid-friendly app, but then they... They, 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 they ruined they, it. They said, with no regulation, they like, let's let whatever go on. Now you have people that just go in there and do racist TikToks. You have people going there and do socially insensitive TikTok. Yeah. You have people going there and just do um, scientific, just anything they can think of. You have people going on there expressing their um, freedom of speech, which is, everything is not a freedom of speech. If you say something, you've got consequences for Anything well, you're free to say what you got to yeah. say, but what you're not saying is, yeah, you got yeah, consequences, consequences and there's repercussions because what yeah. you say could affect, you know, a hundred yeah. little kids totally and a- absolutely change their attitude in their life to maybe go in the wrong direction. Way to be going to direction. Freedom of speech, freedom of speech comes with responsibility. 
a, a lot of people don't want to put the responsibility of freedom of speech on themselves because they just want to be able to say what they want to say unfiltered and unadulterated and move on with it. And they don't want people to say, that's why you have a lot of people saying, oh, we got snowflakes out here. That's why you came up with the whole snowflake theory is basically people saying, I'm voicing an opinion on this. And the people that don't care about that subject are saying, oh, you're just complaining about that subject because it's something to complain about. And they label you snowflake. Like yeah. whatever situation it is, you can be talking about French fries and McDonald's. They'll label you a snowflake because you don't agree with the, um, the masses and about a certain opinion. And it's worse now in 2020 yeah. than it ever has been in ever. my entire ever. life. Ever. Cause there's so I'm many, not joking about that. So many independent, it's so many independent thinkers out there. It's like, like the TikTok app. It's kind of, it's independently ran. It's no regulation. And None. some of these folks figure that they should be just like TikTok and have no regulation. You should say whatever you want to say, when you want to say it, and you should have no type of repercussions or blowback from what you have to say because it's what you have to say. And and age, age restrictions are a joke, too. Yeah. Is, so Those listen, are so easy to it's get another thing, so easy It's now. another thing that we got to look into is because what about if they just shitting on us as far as the United States and allowing the massacre as far as the image is concerned <laughs> here in the United States and then they prohibit so much to get seen out there yeah. where the shit is produced. They do limit, they limit information. So it's like, one, of course, yeah, we got to be more smart about what app we select because they just throwing the dark art there and then whatever sticks, sticks, you know. And true, that's true. Man. I forgot what stuff the is there. For the that's what they say. I'll put it in a bad way. Throw it, throw throwing, throwing shit there? at the wall and seeing what sticks. And seeing what stick, bro. And that's yeah. and but not not wanting to clean off the wall after yeah, you throw yeah, the shit yeah. on. Yeah, right. Uh, they just want to leave it there and whatever yeah. happens. Leave it there, there, move on. Yeah, leave it there, let it dry, and then when somebody else come by, yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, this is shit on the wall. They're gonna be like, well, no. But if you want to get it off, you can get it off if you want to. That's it's basically like that. And that TikTok app, like um, once before, I mean, like I said before, I don't care for the the people who go on there and do all the the racist and crazy and yeah. irresponsible stuff. I don't care about all that. Y'all go to that way. I feel sorry for the people that actually made a living off of it, doing positive things. People that go on there and mm-hmm. speak truth to power. Yeah. All the people that go on there and uh, teach people how to get over certain situations. Um, they go in there and they basically are like TikTok uh, psychiatrists. You got people that are, are TikTok doctors. You know, you got people that, that actually want to spread a good message. Would, the, would that be a TikTok doc? Yeah. Top oh, doc. Right. <laughs> so like Bugs Bunny, put a little Bugs Bunny trend on it. I like there you that. Go. Heel, wabbit, wabbit, Heel, wabbit, 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 wabbit. But yeah, you got, you got, be, you. It's in every situation you have somebody that's doing something good, and then you have somebody that's doing something not so good. Sure. And it's it's money to be made off of each negative and positive type of thing that's going on in this world. TikTok has made a shitload of money hand over fist because they have gotten. How long? You know what? I just recently got turned on to it. Uh, only about maybe, it is who? maybe about a month ago. How long has TikTok been around now, realistically? I don't know. I, like three or four years now. And three whoever, or four years. And I whoever, never really, oh, whoever wow. sold it Brand to the new. fucking U.S. market, he's making a whole you know bunch what? of money. You know what? I did do yeah. a little. I did do a little bit of homework on this, and yeah, um, it said TikTok is owned by an American CEO. It is. They have an American CEO here, okay. but it's it's primarily owned. By a Chinese company, right? They, they have a you know what? Yeah, American CEO. They're running. Who, matter of fact, who, you get the CEO name? No, I didn't get the CEO's was, uh, name. Me um, neither. I tried to get his name because I was. I didn't. I, I really, yeah, I didn't want to say it because it I didn't think it was relevant. I just, I thought it was relevant at this moment just to say that hey, yeah, that's cool. It, I in the article, it, it said he's an American CEO, and yeah, you can, yeah, you can yeah, I'm, I'm adding it there, yeah. I had it in there for the crowd. To what you started out with, it said, you know, that, you know, it's they're they're being accused of like saying, you know, to use the TikTok for surveillance yeah. and prop- propaganda from Beijing. Yeah. There's a U.S. ban, also India, and India as well and as Australia. Australia. They banned and it. Mike Pompeo. You know, the Secretary of State. You were talking about it earlier. You know, he said, you know what? They they asked, you know, should we use it? And he said, you know what? He said. 
Use it if you want your private info in the hands of the Communist Chinese Party. That's hmm. something to think about. I don't yeah. know. It's something at least worth looking into. And yeah, I, it is. I, don't know. It, it, yeah. I mean, we can look at so every story. Bit. Ain't every story ain't derived off of some crazy conspiracy theory. Some, some, a lot of stories. I say eighty-five percent of the stories out here have a, a spark of truth in it, and you just need to follow the path of truth. The, the TikTok app, we don't, we don't know. We're not sitting up here saying you TikTok need to do is your worst thing ever. Yeah, make educated, yeah. educated decisions and make your own interpret it wisely. Yeah, make, if you're, make a, if uh, you're intelligent, right? Yeah, make an intelligible wisely. hypothesis. You know, don't don't come forming your information off of what other people are telling you that's happening out there. Like, if you don't feel that TikTok is a bad thing, hey. You ain't got to listen to us. Go no, ahead and but, TikTok but, but, to since, them. but since I've had it, my phone's been doing some funny things. And I yeah. must admit, I ain't going to blame it on that because there's, yeah, I had there's it. multi-millions of reasons yeah. that that could it's be It's a multitude more. of reasons. Yeah. Me, when I had it it, it, it didn't mess up my phone, but I just seen the trend that was set on there. And I'm not I'm not with that trend. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to um, become involved with Generation Z hard enough to get into their culture because their culture is totally different from it's our, our different. culture. Yeah. And I, I learn off the, the young ones and know what, know how to deal with the young ones nowadays. You mean, you mean young ones like me? Do? We both young. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We no, both young. No, let's get that right. That's right. No, I'm young. Fish. Young. Young. Look, we don't act old, do we? I think not. Yeah, old is a state of mind. There you that's go. All it is. Old is a state of mind. It's not a. It's not an actual. It's an actual thing. When your skin, that's. I mean, I guess it's a, a title. But you, you see some old people that be like 80, 80, 90 years old, and they looking like they still about uh-huh. 30 or forty years old. And you folks know? too, you know what? I'm actually black, but Neon or, or Dion, he's got like this extra lighting over here. He likes it to look all, you know. Like you know, we got the. But I'm actually black, folks. You don't know that, but you know. No, it's not. Yeah, problems. Problems. Yeah, right. We probably made his own TikTok. I bet. I, I said because you had some crazy lighting on me to make me like white yeah. or something like that. <laughs> he, he I bet we had some people out there going, "Boy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right." He's yeah. more white than the dripping <laughs> pure snow on a motherfucking winter season. He said winter season. Like the white snow in the winter season. <laughs> 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 see, that thing, like, see, with TikTok, that would have became a thing. That little joke that we made, somebody would have took that scene on TikTok and they'd have made that into something either really funny, mm-hmm. really uniquely put together, or some ultra racist and, or ultra insensitive. Everything in between, right? Yeah, like everything mm-hmm. people, and that's what the problem is. I don't, I don't believe in regulating any of uh, the social media statuses that we have, or uh, social media uh, platforms that we have, but I do believe in regulating that bullshit as everything is free speech, but everything is not, um, should not be respected as free speech. If you hating on other people and you're trying to destroy them, that's not free speech. No, that's destructive. Not. And you can do whatever you want to with your yeah. goddamn computers, can't yeah. you? You can do whatever you can be, uh, broke, whatever you want to be. I you broke in a good old boy say. Southern voice for that one. Yeah. What you gonna do with them goddamn computers? Them computers. Is, hold on. Is we on TV right <laughs> now? No. Computer. What? Like, see, we like, on TV? TV? Technology, stuff like that. People uh, understand, like, we on TV, I done froze up. Exactly. <laughs> like, don't believe in the conspiracy theories of, don't believe in the conspiracy theories unless you have done proper research and you found out that those conspiracy theories are conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are not truth be told. Yeah. yeah. Why, but, why do we study these things? Why? Let me see those. Put it up close. Right. Because at heart, we're see, nerds. See those? Make sure we can see those nerds real good. You know what I, oh, look, and you know what? Why did you put it in his, his hands? In the last episode, he ate the whole box, man. I should like, I should get the clip. Oh, uh, look at him. He's happy now. He's not going to be saying anything. Do it again, y'all. He's not going to be saying the first a word. Y'all remember the second video where he murdered the, where he murdered all of the nerds? Oh. He's on it he's again. He's murdering it right now. Oh, look. He's going for the strawberry first. We should have put it on TikTok, y'all. 
Put on TikTok. I did like go too fast and say TikTok. I used to like spearmint. You TikTok. I like uh. To like uh, don't say uh, wedding Ricky, ring. Ricky, spearmint. Oh, okay. Spearmint. That was the shit. But yeah. So yeah, all of you little TikTokers, the good TikTokers, shout out to y'all. Yeah. Represent y'all, man. If y'all got some good TikTok videos, y'all can send them my way. But subscribe, like, and share before y'all do that. So yeah, any my TikTok, bad. any good TikTokers, y'all go ahead and send. Oh, my I'm trying to get. Y'all go ahead and uh. Y'all go ahead and send some good TikTok videos my way. All hey. of you problematic TikTokers, bro, I swear if y'all come on my neck, I'm coming right back at y'all. And now, uh, like, listen, we do we do things around here. So y'all don't want to rumble with nobody that got intelligence. Let's do it. Especially not this guy. Know. But listen, that my man, E. Um, any cougars that's right on here. TikTok, that's wishing to be with a tall six foot five Dominican. <laughs> Hey, uh, Latino motherfucking suave, smooth motherfucker, holla at you. And you and you know what they say about nerds. I don't even have to tell you. So yeah, with that exclamation being, point, boom. So with that being said, TikTok. Oh, last word. Last word on TikTok. Oh, can we say this thing? You sound good with it or don't? Can we say this last thing too? Yeah. Uh, degenerate gents, value Ruh-ruh. rocking too. <laughs> Theo. Yo, he yeah. said we still in that name. If you gonna do something about it, you gonna have to do something about because it. Because guess what? You're up we're against it. you're up, you're up against the pandemnation. Yeah, baby. the pandemnation. We're taking that pandemnation. But yeah, 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 Theo, we, we we might be snatching that name up, sir. Not my degenerate gents. Okay, wait. He said we taking the name. De- degenerate gents in the pandemnation. This dies view right here, y'all. So y'all already know what the slogan is. Y'all know I want to hear y'all point. And hopefully y'all want to hear our point of view. I think so, we, I think we finished it. strong, man. I think we finished strong. I think we had a good show. Let's put it in there. Put it in I the middle. Put it are, in the middle. Put it in I the middle. We are going, y'all. All right, all right, all right. That being said, we out. We love you. We love you. Face ass people. We love you. Keep coming. Oh.